this is the new G Speed FS chassis. I call it Lips. <laughs> it has a uh, TGH 210 transmission, runs 4S, 2700 KV poor Pro Stubby, Holmes SHB 650 Servo. It runs a GT5 radio, Castle BEC, G Speed Cheater Bed, G, uh, G Speed uh, G Shot package for this truck. G-speed body mounts, axial body posts. It has um, power hobby wheels, pink power hobby wheels with uh, Vanquish holy rings. Uses hardcore RC links. The rears are double bent, fronts just regular straight. Has super shafty capper axles, uh, deluxe fab shocks. Uh, G shot, G shot skid. This is actually a bit of on brass in the front. For whatever reason, it wouldn't fit in the rear, but oh well. It works. It seemed to work pretty good. The only time I've drove it one other time, but uh, I'm gonna try it today and see how it does. I got these uh, Vanquish VXT2 tires. They they say they say 4.75 on the side, but they're actually closer to like five inches, I think. So. Uh, should do pretty good this is the body it's a uh shoot what do they call this a comp wagon cab from pro line of course it's cut way down it's a uh, metallic pink or sparkly pink uh to me a paint turned out okay i'm not much of a paint painter anyway it's white on the inside but uh let's see how it does also failed to mention earlier that this uh, these tires have anafoams in them too. They make uh, Three Brothers RC makes anafoams just for these tires and the ruptures and what are they called? The Baja Pro Baja Pro X from Proline. They're all 4.9 or 5 inches tall. Really, 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 really like the Three Brothers anafoams. And I've only drove this chassis or this truck one other time and it did really awesome. Of course it had different tires on it. But uh as of right now this is the easiest any of my trucks have ever gotten up gotten up to this point anyway. Of course this is the point where it gets hard right here. Sun shining through the tree. Funny. Let's see if I can't get on the other side here. I want to make sure the tires are conforming. I want to see the front end suck down. And really start to see that front end getting pulled down. Oh no, to the bottom. Let's give it one more go right here. I know it can get this. tires are performing really nice that forward skid really really helps of course I know it don't really show it on this particular spot but that forward skid design really helps on situations like this and this TGH 210 transmission also has I believe 30% overdrive and you can really see it at work on the front tires right now I gotta give Vanquish credit on these tires. They seem to be hooking up awesome. Of course, they are brand new. But they don't have an aggressive tread pattern or anything, but the compound feels really nice. Look at that. This FS literally just walked this line, and it's just, it's one of my, it's difficult. I've never tried this area, but I'm gonna see if I can't try to show off or show how the forward skid design can really help. If I can get it in the right spot, that is. Man, those tires and foams are doing awesome. Mm. 
I don't know what it is on these tires, but they have like, it's like sparkly spray paint. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to show it or not. Of course, we're not going to go anywhere in this particular spot because we're just, I mean, we're bogged way down, but... And of course this truck has enough clearance where that don't really make a difference on the on the skid. Of course we got both front tires completely off the ground. Let me just try to back up a little bit. Come down the hill a little bit. Maybe if we can get the front pat driver tire on the peak, we might have it whooped. Nope. Take another reverse. Oh, too far. Of course, it may not matter. Now nah, we're going the wrong way. Instead of getting better, we're getting worse and worse and worse. But oh, oh, but we might still pull it up. But in situations like that, good break over there, uh, the forward skid can really help. Oh, where am I videoing? I love these G-Speed chassis. They are so awesome. Gabe and uh, the guys there, I mean, they just put in the work and keep rolling out awesome chassis and awesome parts. I absolutely love them. This truck is phenomenal. Well, after that, the truck proved that it can get up on it. Well, let's see if I can find a do a little bit better driving and see if we can actually beat it this time. This far, we're gonna this time we're gonna come a little bit to the left or to the right here. Maybe get the rear of the truck up this up this way more. If that'll actually help us or not, I couldn't tell you. Almost going right back in the same boat we were to start with. We are. Well, maybe not exactly. Nice. Got that part whooped. Let's see if we can get the, the last of it done. And right here's the spot where that forward skid's really gonna help. See, it never, the skid never even touched there. Ooh, that's steep. See if we can get the front to work down the hill there a little bit with a servo. Nice. That's awesome.